that's what's important. Yeah. Show that lens, and you can pan over. I will. Because look, I started out with four. Then I added two big ones, right? Then I said, it's too much, you know, and it's going too slow up, and it's not going as high. So I substituted one of these, like I've got it now, and I got my highest reading. So I put in a second set from over there from the other one, and no, and so the second set of small ones made it lower again. So this is a whole a, a product of experimentation itself. You see what I mean? The number of UFs and so on. There was no way for me to predict it. I predicted wrong. You see what I mean? I corrected my mistakes as far as I could. You know what I mean? But it's still not giving as much energy as I'd like it to. You know, there, there's other kinds of capacitors. There's better magnets. There's other things. There's more efficient drives. You know what I mean? There's better controllers. You know, the, the, if I can get a couple of, they retrench from 5,000 watts at 3,500 down to 900s. And the 900s are the same size as the 500s of three or four years ago that we ran in the Magam Chen thing. You see what I mean? And they're using less energy. So, you know, if I put those on the car, you know, the first cars, then they'll drive it to 60 miles per hour on these, uh, with, with, you know, using less energy. So it isn't perfect, but it's, it's demonstrating what they call the proof of principle, you know, in, in research. Okay? So, but if you start over there, I think that you'll, you'll see the, the thing. You don't have to move the thing or anything, right? I'm just, I'm going to start this going, and this is going to go up, and then I'm going to turn on the switch, trying to keep this in the same place, and then I'm going to accelerate it. And when I'm accelerating it, you want to be seeing that. And on the way to panning to this, you can pan across the, uh, the array. All of the wiring will show. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just say go. Go.
Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. It's at 28. Okay. There it goes. Ah, it knocked it down to 20. So it needs a second, uh, a second unit to keep it uh, going nonstop, you know, with another set of capacitors and so on. It's getting enough to, to start it and accelerate it, but it's not giving enough to continuously. That's called real time, you know. Uh, uh, stored time is the buildup it took. If it started from uh, 26. It, the buildup would have been like uh, 10 to 20 seconds or a half minute, but it took two or three minutes because it started at zero over here and at, uh, at uh, 14 or 12 or something over here. So it had to build up many volts, uh, that, uh, a static charge in the capacitors. So this is a 24 volt magnetic drive, one of the earliest uh, mass produced ones out of China with its control box and it's a Hall effect uh, accelerator. And the Hall effect accelerator, in co uh, combination with the control box, rations the energy that comes out of it, and that's why when you accelerate, you get your point more energy. So when I made it go fast, it was using more, up to top speed, you know? Uh, so, you know, it, it stops the capacitors from giving all their energy at once, which they will do. They're almost instant discharge and we saw in the last uh, short video running little 12 volt motors, it made them violently turn a very short time because it just knocked the voltage way down by draining all of you, the banks of capacitors, you know. And so, you know, that's one reason that electric cars, you don't floor the, the pedal. That's, you know, why uh, they don't want to let a person with a fuel driving experience